Alrighty, what's up guys? Got 12 pairs of sneakers here occupying my living room. I figured I'd make this quick pickup video just because I haven't uploaded in a while. You've probably heard me say this so many times in recent uploads, but I've just been so busy and I really can't get around to making YouTube videos in a timely fashion. If you want to keep up with me, follow me on Instagram at Stuff Don't Likes. I'm posting pickups like this all the time. And yeah, let's just kick right into these sneaker pickups. All 12 of these match the title. These are all great deals I've gotten. A majority of them are under retail. Actually, all of them are under retail except one. I figured I'd talk you all through the little sneaker journey here. We'll start at the left, this little Nike section. So starting in the back left here, these are the Sakai collabed Nike Vapor Waffles. And these are done up in the dark iris colorway. So it's essentially a purple, navy blue, and orange, kind of like a Halloween vibe to them. So the Vapor Waffle is a sneaker that I actually really like. I like the clunky chunkiness of it. And the Sakai collab generally is such a good thing for Nike, I think. This marks my third pair of Vapor Waffles I've had in my possession and two in my collection. So the first one you might have seen an upload i picked up the fuchsia red colorway i think it's called from dover street market back in the day and since then i got my hands on like black and gum colorway but i wasn't crazy about it so i sold it off the market on the vapor waffle is a lot different from the ld waffle the ld waffles have come down in price a majority of them but in contrast the vapor waffles haven't i think it's just because nike hasn't released too too many of them you know there are a bunch of miscellaneous colorways floating there are certain ones that go for crazy amounts but the lower end ones like this and the like seattle sonics looking colorway seem to trickle towards the bottom so I was able to find these on eBay for I think like 150 or 160 shipped is what I paid total very gently worn you could see the traction pattern there it looks like they've been worn a few times I cleaned them up really well and they're good to go so this is the first sneaker very excited about these next up is one of the top Air Max ones of the year I have to say and it's a sneaker that I missed out on and I'm glad to have them now so these are the concepts collab Air Max one dubbed as the heavy this is the second release of the total three Air Max ones that concepts collaborated on on the Nike Air Max one if you check out my March sneaker pickup video you could see I got the mellow colorway and then the third colorway I didn't try too hard for because I wasn't crazy about it I think of the three colorways this is probably the most desirable one to me I just really like all of the crazy mismatch detailing you know that tiger camo the denim that patchwork there the pony hair whatever this is at the toe super super crazy bunch of cool details as well the guitar pick all the extra laces etc I've actually worn these once or twice now but I cleaned up the bottom so it literally looks brand new never worn and speaking of which I bought them from Poshmark from a seller that claims they're brand new which I mean essentially they were the laces were done up I think they were tried on probably or worn around the house but in essence they are essentially a brand new sneaker and the sneaker has been on my hit list for a while I've been meaning to go back and get it but I wasn't willing to pay sort of like the resale prices I think they're hovering at like 215 or 220 in my size I came across this guy on Poshmark that was selling them at like 190 I think he started at and after some back and forth I was able to secure these at like 156 shipped or something like that I know I had some credit on my Poshmark account but at the end of the day around retail and definitely not paying resale prices is a big win so very glad to have these these are gonna get a lot of wear over the next few months next up is a little two for one here I got these both from sneakers and stuff online and they're both pairs of Solomon XT6s Starting with this one in the back, these are in the magnet colorway, I think they're called. It's essentially just like a brown and a beige. And then this pair up front is like an, an all over white and cream with hits of aqua and blue. I think they're called like a vanilla ice or something along those lines. If you guys check out my recent upload of sneaker pickups, there's some Solomons nestled there. I have some Solomons that you guys haven't seen in the video and I've been on this crazy Solomon buying wave. I love the technical look of these runners you know they're trail runners in essence but they've made their way into the mainstream in higher fashion i'd say a lot of streetwear folks are wearing these as you know rotational sneakers you know i'm a trend follower as well and having these is really great especially here in the northeast in the new york city area come winter time the traction pattern on here will do well in these sort of sleet icy conditions while looking pretty stylish and fresh honestly so uh both these pairs retailed at 190 i caught some pre-black friday sale and all these sneakers are pre-holidays pre-black friday sale dating back to like mid-october and early november i think there's an additional discount of like 25 percent off of retail so i paid 140 a little over 140 for both so around 280 total, which I checked the sneakers and stuff website today and they were doing a legit pre Black Friday sale. And these were marked down to like 130. So I overspent, I guess in a way, 20 bucks, but hey, to have them in hand and have them ready to go for these upcoming colder months, can't beat it. 
I'm probably gonna make a focus video on the Solomon XT6s, followed by the XT4s. I have a few pairs of those, as you know, so stay posted on that. Continuing that Solomon wave, here is one that looks like a traditional hiker sort of trail running shoe for sure. These are an XA Pro 3D model. I forget the exact colorway on these. Let me double check, actually. Yeah, these are the Olive Knight XA Pro 3Ds, and I got these actually straight from GOAT. So my whole vision with these, again, is sort of heading into the winter and those rainy sort of wintry months. I just need a shoe that I could have at the doorstep and slip on and off without any worries. So you can tell I've worn them a few times already. These were them. I saw them on GOAT for severely under retail these retail at 130 and i think i ended up paying like 70 something dollars shipped so not bad at all this colorway not something i typically go for i'm not really buying darker colored sneakers but these kind of spoke to me in a way that you know come winter time i'm wearing all black pretty much um, and i think this olive green color looks really good with a few outfits that i have planned in mind especially sort of like the technical baggier nylon type sweatpants so super comfortable I haven't tested these out in the rain or anything, but I think come inclement weather, these are the first things that I'm thinking of putting on feet. Next up is this pair of the New Balance 990 V4 in collaboration with Kith. These are dubbed as the United Arrow and Sons because of the colorway that they mimic. So there's a United Arrows and Sons 997 if you're deep in the New Balance history. And middle of this year in the summer, Kith came out and collabed on a few New Balances that draw on certain colorways and this was one of the releases taking a look at these these are pre-owned but in very very good condition i got these from a resale shop in central jersey called limited supply if you watch a few of my past videos i've purchased from them many many times so shout out to them i got these for 140 which is insane because these retailed at like 235 and i actually remember the drop on them as well I was at work for something, I think it was in June, and I wasn't able to get to my phone. I wasn't able to enter the raffles or do any of the first come first serve drops. So, you know, you have your eye on sneakers like this all the time, but never really go back and get them unless you see them for a good price. And that was the case with this one. Along with that, it comes with original everything. Look at the detailing on this box. Kith everywhere. And they actually also come with the original socks. Never worn, look at that Kith RF. For Ronnie Feig, brand new. So the collector and completionist in me wants to hunt down the other pairs, like including the Daytona New Balance 990 V3s, I believe they were. But you know, prices are going crazy. Unless I come across them for a good deal, I'm not gonna go back and find them. There are too many future releases and too many past things that I want. But to find these at 140, to have another 990 V4 in my collection again is really, really nice. Some more New Balances, another two for one here. These both come from Sneakers and Stuff as well, and they're both Sneakers and Stuff collab 991s. I forgot the exact colorway of these, but these are dubbed as the Secret colorway, and this one is the blue and yellow, both made in England 991s, as I mentioned, or may not have mentioned. This pair I've already worn a few times. Again, I keep the outsoles of my sneakers super clean. After I wear them, I'm pretty much cleaning them, which is why, you know, a lot of these things look tip-top condition. This colorway I actually like a lot more. I think this teal is a lot nicer. You know, same concept with the yellow leather and the white. I forget the exact inspiration of the sneakers. To me, when buying sneaker collabs, it's important for me to know the story, but in a case like this, I really just pulled the trigger because these were both at good prices. Essentially, it was two for the price of one. They were both marked down. Half price it was like $129.50 a piece, meaning each one retailed for like $260. And I remember seeing these earlier in the year on release on the sneakers and stuff app and passed just because of the high retail price. You know, it was a sneaker that I liked visually, but I wasn't gonna pay 260 retail for them. So in a case like this, again, patience does save pockets. Finding them at a good price now, you know, in my mind, it justifies having these now because I was able to get both for the same price as I would have gotten one back in the day. So new balance hype is pretty crazy right now, but I think people need to realize that not everything's selling out. So, you know, if you do really want a sneaker and you're able to get on a release, that's cool. But, you know, if you're able to wait and go back and source them, because again, there are so many sneakers in the world, not everyone can afford to buy everything. So eventually things will get marked down. There are a bunch of new balances that I have on my hit list, including like the Concepts 992. Those have been marked down like crazy. I'm trying to find a good pair at like sub 130, so stay posted for that. But I think these are inspired by like the Swedish flag. Again, I got to read up on these, but super, super dope sneakers. Rounding out the new balance in this video, this is the one sneaker I mentioned at the beginning that 
was at retail, so not a crazy deal on this conceptually. But I guess before we get into it, it's the Ame Leondor New Balance 550. The recent release, these came out in tandem with an all-over leather as well with a little suede patch. This one is the all-over suede one. This was a raffle win. I was able to get it for retail, so it was like $130 plus $12 shipping. And I'm actually waiting on the other pair as well. Um, shout out Ame Leondor for the raffle win, but also shout out to them for the procurement and shipping delays. I feel like that's a common thing with their brand, but in any case, uh, part of the reason why I included these in because anything Ame Leondor collabed with New Balance nine times out of 10 always sells out and resells for a lot. Looking at resale prices on these, they're actually not that bad, but in a way it's still a good price getting them at retail, you know, 130 can't beat it. Um, especially straight from the source as well, especially with all the StockX stuff going on. It's kind of hard to tell what's authentic these days. I have a ton, and I'm talking a ton, of New Balance 550s that you guys haven't seen. This one I actually really, really like. I think the suede on this is super nice. It's that high hair suede. And if you were to blindfold me and tell me that this was a made in USA suede, or if you were to use it on a made in USA model, you know, I'd be totally justified at the price. Super clean, super casual. This aged look is taking the world by storm. Again, I thought this sneaker was worth including because Ame Leondor stuff usually goes for super high prices, but to get them at retail is really nice. So waiting on the other pair, you'll probably see those on Instagram at some point and hopefully a future video, but those are those. Nearing the end here, we have three miscellaneous ones. I'll talk about them one by one. I bought these two, the Carhus and these Birkenstocks from Alumni of New York, it's called. It's like a little boutique out here in New York City. I got them online and this is the first pair of that pickup. These are the Birkenstock Bostons. If you're on TikTok or any sort of form of social media, you know that the Birkenstock Boston is like the latest cozy piece of footwear that everybody's ranting and raving about. So figured I'd get my pair in. This one is like in a mink colorway and it has that shearling or shirling fur inner lining. So super timely for winter here. My whole thing with these is I have a bunch of slides and slippers, like the easy slides. I wear my Crocs all the time. I have the Union collabed um, sandals. I forget what they're called. So I didn't really need these, but part of me just wanted to get into the whole hype. I was like one of the first ones to have like a pair of Birkenstock Arizonas, at least of the people I knew. So these retail around like 130 or 140, I think. I'd have to double check online, but I was able to get these for like 79 bucks from Alumni of New York. They were marked down and had an additional 20 or so percent off. So. 70 something bucks for these, not bad at all. Um, I haven't worn them yet, again, because I mentioned I have all these miscellaneous sandals, but I think come winter time, these are for sure getting pulled out. So Birkenstock Boston, something different from I'm usually buying, but I'm always down to try this stuff. Ran out of room on the couch, so these are on the, uh, the arm here, but like I mentioned, this is a pair of Carhus. These are the Aria 95 model. I forget the exact name of this colorway, but it's essentially like a navy blue, lavender, purple configuration. So this pickup is a result of a recent trip I had to Finland. I was in Helsinki for work for a few days, like a week or so back in late September. I met in sneaker shopping there. Hopefully I'll have a video on that soon. You know, I was quick to find out that Carhu was sort of like the local craze there because Carhu is a Finnish sneaker brand. I've heard about them. I've known about them for a long while now. It's just a matter of I never really gave it any attention, you know, because I've been so enthralled in all these other mainstream brands. Uh, but to see them in the wild in Finland and to sort of see how much they go for and like what the quality is like in person, I figured, hey, I'll give it a shot. So these are them. I wasn't going to buy a pair in Finland. One, because I didn't have a lot of space in my luggage. And two, I wasn't going to pay retail for them just because I know these aren't super desirable sneakers to the masses. So with time, you're able to find a lot of them on clearance. And now that I'm kind of aware of the car hue space, um, you know, buying them from boutiques like a sneakers and stuff or, you know, smaller ones like Alumni of New York, you just got to find the right ones, the right times, the right prices, and you'll be golden. So I think I got these for under 60 bucks. They retail for like 135 or 140 or something like that in that range. Um, and the quality is excellent on them. You can see how buttery the suede is. This is my first pair of Carhus. I'm certainly gonna buy more. I think this Aria 95 is one of their flagship retro runners. I think the Fusion 2.0 is probably the more popular one. And they also have another one. I forget what it's called. It's something something 96. These are super great, very lightweight. Quality is excellent. Thumbs up from me. Definitely gonna buy more Carhu in the future. And then rounding out the bunch is this pair of ZX8000s. These are the Iraq collab. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I think it's Iraq or Iraq 
collabed ZX8000s. In my very quick research here, Iraq is a graffiti collective based out in New York. Um, and they collabed on this pair of ZX8000s. I could have sworn that this was part of that A through ZX pack that came out in 2020. You know, I have a bunch of sneakers from that pack, including like the Bape Undefeated collab ones, as well as the Lego ones, and I think a few others, but I just got a generic blue Adidas Originals box, which is no biggie. The white pullout style box that, that A through ZX series came in was pretty mid anyway. Really, I had no intention of buying these, but there was part of that sneakers and stuff purchase here. I saw these marked down all the way to 25 bucks, which is absolutely insane. Considering the retail price on these, I think was upwards of like 150, 160 or something like that. So I knew I had to have them. I mean, what's 20 bucks when you're buying? $260 worth of sneakers. But yeah, I haven't bought a ZX8000 in a while. And today I really haven't bought that many Adidas in the last year or so. But what I like about these is, you know, you can see it right there that's made up of Gore-Tex material. So essentially these are weatherproof sneakers and the same logic that I had for those Solomon XA Pro 3Ds. This is another sneaker I could wear sort of in the rain, sleet and snow and not worry about them. So 25 bucks, can't beat it. The root of this channel is good sneaker deals, and I think of all of these sneakers, this one's probably the best one when you consider percentage savings as well as just, you know, overall fit, finish, quality, and look. Can't beat this for 25 bucks. And so. if we pan out here, this is all the sneakers again, all together. Let's fix this one up here. That essentially wraps up this video though. Let me know what you guys think of these sneaker pickups. If you like content like this, let me know in the comments. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.